Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your first week in July. Weekly energy right here, right here. Yes, loves. We are in Cancerian season, July energies. And as you know, we have a few events right this week. July 1st, Mercury moves into Cancerian. Aligning with Sun to encourage purposeful and effective communication. As you know, Mercury is all about talk, 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 and not only. Mercury is also about taking risks, and given that this planetary coupling is also supported by Jupiter, the ruler of luck and prosperity, blessings are bound to come to those who put themselves in there. So many, many of you, Leos, especially work-wise, career-wise, or even you have a project out there. No, it's a, a great energy to put in effort and go with it because definitely the fruition is there. Let's see loves. Also, July 3rd, so the first and then the third, we do have a full moon in Capricorn the ambitious and hard work zodiac sign full moon in capricorn really really facilitate the perspective about how we do things how we work on things how much effort or what are we putting in out there so we can see results so definitely here be aware of these two events and also with the full moon don't hesitate, Laos, to purge as well, to manifest big. I believe the, the third, it's on Monday. So Sunday to Monday or Monday to Tuesday. Do it right. All right. That being said, let's see, darlings, what do we have for you? What are those biggest messages that are coming forward for you this particular week? And what else we need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus. And of course, if you really enjoy or resonate this reading, don't hesitate to subscribe, like, and share. Comment below. And if you want to get in touch with us, everything is in the description box. Underneath loves, we do have the Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the Hangman, and the Page of Wands and the Emperor. All right, look at this card, loves. There's something here that tells you, be honest with yourself starting this week if you did not be in till now. There's also something here about start now, don't bring any other excuses. Because some, some of you, you are procrastinating, delayed certain things, when you don't need to. There is some kind of idea, some kind of project, some kind of situation that can start, can move forward. You can do it. But you might feel, well, there's not time or when the time comes, it's kind of like now take actions. We do have the emperor. You know, emperor speaks about the Mars energy, Marcian energy takes action. Yes, Mars it's very, very strong energy into moving, not the hangman. So now all the things you postpone till now start to move forward. Okay, loves. And it seems here for some of you, you, you are in the beginning of something, but you can be in this emperor later. It's up to you what you do. Okay. There's something here also speaks you are more than you are think you are. But don't need to delay certain things or don't need to tell yourself all the excuses you bring you there. Or that that person is in my way or that situation is my way. Only you are in the way. That's what I'm hearing. My apology if I'm so direct, but definitely it's that. Eight of Cups. Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Strength. Yes, definitely here you can do it. It's, it's a new project. It's a new job. It's a new beginning. 
Yep, seems like it is. More likely around the full moon in Capricorn, as we have this page of pentacles here. But something here I see you on the move from. Something here didn't work out over there. For some of you, you need to let go something. And it's kind of emotionally and mentally, you are not yet prepared or you feel you are not prepared. But strength really speaks of you are stronger than you think you are. You're much stronger than you think you are. You can repeat or put on repeat in your head this, this affirmation. Clarifying the Eight of Cups, we have the Hierophant. Six of Swords, King of Swords. Okay. Some of you, you could left um, a job or a corporation or a very well-paid job because the, the King of Swords and the Hierophant really speaks about a lawyer or a law firm or a high position, whatever that is. Like for some of you, it's kind of like I am... It's not like I'm upset, but it's more like... Uh, I thought something here, it's, it's really strong. I thought this is it, but now I feel here not. And also the, with the King of Swords here, there's some kind of stubbornness. Why I should go? Why I should do this? Why me? Well, why this is showing you? Because you are much more. It's something here like, for example, somebody here could be over you. What I mean through that, somebody here could, could hold the things when you need to hold the things. It's kind of like making someone's dream or making your own dream. Working for someone or working for yourself. So the universe wants you to move forward into a way different, more mature, much bigger energy. That's what the universe is telling you. It's not like to put you down. I feel here for some of you, you I, I see that the word disappoint. I'm disappointed of the system or I'm disappointed of letting go this or I thought this is it or this is stable. With the page of pentacles and the page of wands, it's just kind of like I, I don't like beginnings or I don't like to start there over. I don't feel here you start over. You start from knowledge. You, you don't start from scratch. You start from experience. So I feel here, whoever I'm speaking here, you do have experience. Even though in the beginning it doesn't make too much sense, the beginning it's happening. Clarifying the Five of Swords, Knight of Wands, Three of Wands, and the World. So... As I said here about excuses, things will not be easy. That's a fact. Things are not going to be part-time. That's a fact. So if you think here, I want to be part-time and make like a full-time, that's not going to happen. If you have a goal and you want to receive or to gain that goal, or if you want freedom, because having the Nine of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands is just like, I want more freedom for myself. For a good period of time, it's kind of like, get out from that energy. Will not happen so easy. But when it's happening, will be much easier than you thought. So whatever here you are going, or needs to go towards is preparing you for later. And yes, I know many, many people, many souls, especially those who are more 3D energy or are more in the 3D energy, definitely want quick fix, quick things. But I don't see in this formula or whatever here you are need to do next. So there is something here you need to do in the beginning which is not what you like or is not as easy for later to be easy for you. And of course, you are the one to choose. You are the one to choose. 
So definitely here with the world, it's kind of like stop dreaming or stop being excused that things will gonna be, you know, easy or I can do whatever I want, how I want, when I want. That's not gonna happen. That actually will delay the progress you need to go. So there's something here about being bold, being present, taking that responsibility you need to and move forward with. Sounds like a plan here, kind of a thing, but... The Page of Pentacles, what this is for. Five of Pentacles. Lovers. Eight of Swords. I, I feel here that the financial situation, you might not be okay in regard to whatever you need to start or do. Ten of Swords. It's like a big no-no here for you, but although it's a decision. If I gotta do it or not, Three of Pentacles could work out beautifully. Yes, I feel here there's certain expectations, like I am worth more. But somebody here is telling you, yes, but I can't offer you more than this. If you put in effort, things can move forward. There's something here you need to learn. And the universe is telling you, you got to learn to be in the place where you want to be. So Leo... You definitely here are deciding. I know it's not a easy way, goodness. It's just kind of like like for for the Leo I'm speaking here, it's just kind of like, are you kidding me? Where I used to be and what I need to do now? What? What? Yes. It's, it's kind of like it's necessary. Whatever it's here, it's speaking about necessity. It's necessary. And it's kind of like the sooner you do it, the better. What else? What else? Six of Cups, Justice, Three of Swords. I feel here there's something here, definitely like a test. This tells you that you can do whatever you put your mind to. But I feel here this is something that past related energy. You might feel here this is because that company or that situation screw it over and everything. That's not right. That's not right, loves. That's not right. And again, you can move forward. Whatever here situation is, it's like acceptance, surrendering to the journey for you to move forward. Because chariot, so I ask like what else is here is, whatever here is in the past, for you to, to bring in balance, you need to move away from it. Or from the, um, the ideas. Like many people will take someone in their company where they don't have actually experience or they don't have or they are they are new to the system or something so they can train them based on their skills because some people come with certain ideas of what things could be or how the things could run and things like that so there's something here about um, a new mindset Whatever here you learn in the past, live in the past. Even though you have the experience. Even though you know how the things are. But there's the other things to be learned. And later to combine all. Okay? So whatever here you have experience is great. And you can move with that too. But also here, it's not like forgetting. Or it's more likely don't apply it here. But combining whatever you learn, whatever you know, and whatever you are going to learn here will make hand in hand to the forward movement. I hope that makes sense. One advice for you, loves. One advice. 
Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, Ten of Cups, and underneath we have your Queen, Queen of Wands. Definitely I see growth from the page to the knight and now the queen when and we have also the emperor so this is kind of one step at a time growth but i feel here this growth will happen pretty fast look at this ace of cups eight of wand ten of cups it's like falling in love with the movement in your life or falling in love with new beginnings and making a fortune later on there's something here like the movement is happening now, keeping you up with it, with the learning process, with the movement process, and the things that are coming. It's beautiful. So Leo is definitely here something that you might need to consider. Yes, certain things here are not quite great and might need to be let go or might need to readjust from it. But definitely is a process and the process begin embracing the enthusiasm shut to the heavens with happiness this is kind of like embrace the change that's happening in your life or in your career or even finance wise wondrous universe walk in beauty there's certain surprises on the way and i believe this is jupiter so here it is definitely that June 1st, it's major here for many of you. Trust there is a divine plan, absolutely. And the last card here we have, reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. So indeed here, it's kind of like, you know, when you lit a candle and it doesn't feel like it's, it's one, and you try one more time, you try one more time, and now it's on. Traveling lightly, simplify your life. Certain things here will be much easier or will feel much easier than they used to. So whatever here is unnecessary, try to get rid of. That's the simplify your life. Whatever here you know, it's great to kind of like put it on the side and then learn whatever is need to be learned. So later on to put it there for you and combine it. I hope you got it, loves. That being said, Leo, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. And I will see you next time. Namaste.